coming over here at Moodle Moodle Global with Daphne Elbesh. Elbesh? Elbesh. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Daphne. Who's the project manager at Healthy Foundation. Healthy Foundation are a not-for-profit. You support health professionals and community workers in vulnerable, I guess you'd say, societies in some, many countries in Africa. Is that, is that a good description, Daphne? Yeah, yeah, we do capacity strengthening, strengthening for healthcare professionals, mainly in resource restricted settings. So mainly sub-Saharan Africa. And I uh, just watched your presentation, which was great. So thank you for doing that at Moodle Moot. And I was really struck by that stat you had on one of your slides, which I think it was the maternal mortality rate in yeah. Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. And you said that the goal was to progress from 401 um, deaths. Is that right? Yeah. Which is very sad. Yeah. So in 2017, we can see from, from demographic health surveys that the maternal mortality ratio was 401 per 100,000 live births. And the sustainable development tree target is to come back to 70 per 100,000 live births wow. by 2030. Yeah, absolutely. That's an awesome target. So tell me, how is Healthy Foundation trying to support that target? And where does Moon fit into that? Yeah, so we try to support that by different courses, like the Pandemic E-Response course and the SRHR E-Education course that we provide to uh, both in-service and pre-service midwives. So those that are still studying at university and that are already on the job. And we do so by using Google uh, and using e-learning modules on different topics related to maternal health. So it's about, for instance, uh, how to provide maternal healthcare during the pandemic, how to provide essential sexual and reproductive health services, newborn care, um, access to safe abortion or post-abortion care. Um, and we provide that through blended learning a combination of face-to-face -face workshops and e-learning modules. And with this combination, we aim to strengthen the skills and capacity of those midwives to provide quality care and uh, to continue their jobs also during the pandemic or humanitarian conflicts like in Ethiopia. So in, uh, in Ethiopia, um, I'm imagining uh, you would have then healthcare workers that are working in particular communities uh, and then, and so you're working with them in the classroom as well as they are working with Moodle online. Would that be correct? Yes, that's correct. So we have three phases: a kickoff workshop where we bring them together in a university close to them, for instance, in Addis Ababa or Jima. Um, then they have a self-study study period of three to four months where they engage with e-learning modules and also put their new knowledge into practice already with some community outreach activities in their own catchment areas. And then we bring them together once more for a follow-up workshop in the university. Amazing. Is connectivity an issue in those environments? Yes, yes, internet connectivity is an issue, but um, that's why we chose to work with the Moodle app offline as well. So we upload the e-learning content by score, and that makes it downloadable for the participants to complete offline. And also by using the interactive elements, like the kickoff and follow-up workshops, they can uh, connect with Wi-Fi. Um, that helps as well. Well, that's an amazing combination. So tell me, you're talking about a specific program in Ethiopia. Um, how many community health workers have you trained with this particular program? So for the SRHR e-education and pandemic e-response course we trained a total of 539 uh, midwives, both pre-service and in-service. And are you able to see what impact that has in community? Uh, the impact it has is that sensitive topics or taboo topics can, for instance, be discussed uh, by these midwives with the community members, like domestic violence, gender-based violence, but also topics related to sexuality, because they engage with these topics through the e-learning modules and also practice that in the community. Um, also, they've learned new skills um, yeah, in the face-to-face in the -face, uh, sessions, which they can apply in the communities. And what's the feedback from the healthcare workers? Are they young generally, female, male, a bit of everything? 
Yeah, we try to target a 50-50 balance in gender. So 50% of the midwives are female and the other 50% males. Um, typically, they're rather young, uh, I have to say. Um, and what kind of feedback? Yeah, so for instance, the quotes that I showed during my presentation is that I really appreciate the blended format. Uh, so the combination of offline and online, they appreciate that they can complete it at their own pace, in their own time, um, that they... Uh, was on the slides. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think so. Remember, um, yes, that they appreciated being able to work um, offline, I think, and their knowledge development increased yeah. significantly yeah. through through the um, through the course, which is awesome. Yeah, and also the digital literacy skills building is also really appreciated by having a kickoff workshop and explaining the e-learning modules and how to navigate around the LMS is also very helpful, um, and that builds the digital literacy skills. I know you've had a busy afternoon. One last question. <laughs> what attracted you to Moodle? What made you select Moodle as your LMS? Yeah, so we searched for a new LMS to hand over more responsibilities and ownership to our partners. Um, and we selected an LMS based on certain requirements, like being open source, being SCORM compliant, and having offline uh, functionality, which is important for our learners. And that's why we selected Moodle. And what's really an added advantage of Moodle is also the community, the, the strong Moodle community uh, that allows us to tap in to questions or answers to questions basically uh, that we can find online that we can find on the Moodle Academy and also at the Moodle Moodle conference. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much David. Thank you.